Welcome to the Checkpoint Certified Security Administrator course. In this particular model, we are going to be performing HTTPS inspection. Now, HTTPS inspection can be used to inspect encrypted traffic. For other vendors, they tend not to inspect encrypted traffic. But for checkpoints, checkpoint security gateways would always inspect all forms of traffic, whether encrypted or not. Okay, so this is how H so to perform HTTPS inspection, we'll need to click on our security gateway. We'll come to where we have HTTPS inspection, and then we'll create a certificate. Now, if a particular user is trying to access the internet, Checkpoint Security Gateway is going to hold the traffic. It will pause the traffic. It will decrypt the encryption. It will inspect that traffic. If the traffic violates a particular policy, it is going to drop the traffic. But if the traffic does not violate any policy, it would re-encrypt the traffic and then use its outbound CA certificate to send that traffic. However, because Checkpoint is going to be decrypting, inspecting, and re-encrypting the traffic, in essence, checkpoints is doing a man in the middle attack, or checkpoints is going to be in the middle inspecting all traffic. Your browser may give a warning. So if you do not want users to see that warning, you would have to create an outbound CA certificate for HTTPS inspection. So to do this, we'll click on create. Then we're going to input our domain name, which is example.local. So let's input example.local. We're going to put a private key password. Then we'll click on OK. As you can see, the certificate has been created. We're going to export this certificate and then would have to install it on the user computers and the web browsers. Okay, so what we can do would be to, so let's call this example, example GW, or example is fine. So we can call this example and then we'll save this. It's saved in the PK12 format. Having done this, then the very next thing that we're going to do will be to click on enable HTTPS inspection, and then we'll click on OK. Now we can come to the second gateway and we can replicate the same thing as well. We'll click on HTTPS inspection. As you can see, a certificate has been created. So all we need to do is click on enable HTTPS inspection. We'll click on OK. So the two gateways, they share the same certificates. Now you might wonder why. If you remember, when we talked about secure internal communication, we said that secure internal communication can be used to create trust between the security management server and the security gateways. But not just that. We also said that secure internal communication can be used to create or can be used as an internal certificate authority for creating outbound CA certificates. So the security management server acts as an internal certificate authority. And because it is managing the two security gateways, that is why they are sharing the same certificates. Okay, so having done this, having enabled HTTPS inspection, the very next thing that we would do would be to install our policy. Okay, so we'll click on install policy. Now, 
after the policy has been installed, the very next thing that we would need to do would be to turn on application and URL filtering. But meanwhile, let's install our certificates. Now, if you do not install the certificates on your computer or your web browser, your web browser is going to give you an SSL warning telling you that your traffic is being inspected or something. So it's very pertinent that you install that certificate for all members of staff. It's possible to use your group policy objects. So you can use GPO to push the certificate to all systems. You can use your, your WSUS. You can use root kits. There are lots, um, you can use the root updates, the exe. So there are lots of um, tools that you can use. You can use your PowerShell, but at all means, just ensure that the certificate is actually installed. So this is our certificate. We're going to double click on it. We'll click on install certificates. Well, we can install it for the local machine. We'll click on next. We'll click on place all certificates in the following store. And then we'll select the trusted roots certification authority store. And then we'll click on next. We'll click on finish. Okay, having done this, another thing that we can do will be to come to our web browser. Though this is optional, but to be very sure, you can also come to your web browser. You click on settings. So when you click on, okay, so let's, um, okay, fine. Let's click on settings. So after clicking on settings, we can come down to privacy and security. We'll scroll down to where we have certificates. We'll click on view certificates and then we're going to import our certificates. So we're going to import this example certificate. We'll trust the CA to identify websites and also to identify emailed users. We'll click on OK. We'll click on OK. Now we have imported our certificates. So we can close the web browser and open it again and everything is fine. Now, if you want to verify that your certificates have been installed, you can run the command. Okay, so let's let's type run. So when run comes up, we're going to type certificates manager, certificates mgr.msc. So this is going to open the certificate manager where we can view all certificates. So if we come to Trusted Roots Certification Authority Store and we click on certificates, you can see that we have the example, the local certificates. So this is how you perform your HTTPS inspection. Now, HTTPS inspection is the same thing as SSL inspection. Okay, so in the next module, we are going to see how this can be used to filter web access to stop people from visiting certain websites and everything by enabling the application and URL filtering. So with this, we've come to the end of this particular module. I'll meet you in the next one. Thank you.